Um, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, start the uh, uh, the hearing, the meeting of the uh, Zoning Board of Appeals. I'm David Bloomberg. Uh, joining me, voting members today are Elizabeth Silver and Maureen Scanlon, and uh, helping from the City of Northampton Office of Planning and Sustainability are Carolyn Mish and Nathan Chung. Um, notice of today's hearing was published on August 10th and August 17th. Yes. Um, and um, I'll, we always first start uh, with a public comment, which is for anyone present who wants to address the board about matters that are not on tonight's agenda, just general public comment. And I'll ask that anybody who comments during the course of the meeting uh, first give their name and address for the record that's being kept. So first I'll ask if anyone is here who wants to address a comment to the board that is not related to the one item on today's agenda, which has to do with 129 Riverbank Road. Are there any general public comments? And if seeing none, um, we will move on to the item on the agenda, which uh, is the appeal of the building commissioner's order to remove an unpermitted addition by Richard Wadling at 129 Riverbank Road, map ID 25-026. And um, my understanding, actually, I've, I've actually seen a submission by the attorney for the applicant requesting a continuance of the hearing uh, until, was it December 21? Was that the date? Um, and... Um, oh. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Could you um one thing? Uh, do we need to do a roll? I think we need to do a roll call if you're opening. No, that's no. not necessary. Oh, okay. My apologies. Yeah, okay. I don't think we've done. We do that for closing and or adjourning, um, or any other votes. But um, so um, I know there's a long history to this, some of which is explained by the submission by Attorney McLaughlin in support of the request for a continuance. Um, my understanding is that, um, and, and maybe, maybe I'll try to summarize this based on my recollection, and Attorney Lipton can, can add anything that he would like to add. Um, or say anything he wants to say, and then and then the board we can have a discussion perhaps. But but my understanding is the only question before us right now is not on the merits of the appeal or the application, but rather uh, in in response to the request for a continuance. And Attorney Lipton, my recollection was that um, this matter goes back uh, quite a ways to. Uh, the issue the issuance of a special permit by this board, which had some conditions, including um, uh, based on anticipated events described by the applicant, that the applicant would be acquiring a strip of land adjacent to the parcel, which in turn would have increased the uh, uh, dimensions of the subject parcel in such a way that, um, according to the terms of the special permit that we originally granted, um, our concerns, of, uh, the dimensional restrictions would be satisfied. Uh, but then there's been a series of delays, which appear to be outside of the control of the applicant in closing the acquisition of that strip of land. Um, and but but a lot of progress has been made um, towards that closing. Um, and more time is needed to complete the closing of the acquisition of the strip of contiguous land, at which point um, perhaps the goal is to get us back to where we were in the very beginning by uh, where the applicant seeks a special permit very similar to the one that we granted uh, in the beginning of this process, because that strip of land that was needed in, in the view of the board will have been acquired. Um, and so the request for the continuance to December 21 is just to provide ample time to uh, allow the applicant to complete that closing. And I know one of the biggest sources of delay had to do with uh, a prior owner of the adjacent parcel 
sorry, I'm just trying to expedite here. So yeah, I'll, let, I'll give you a chance to, to uh, clarify or correct anything I'm saying. But, um, but, uh, but the initial delay was because the original owner of the contiguous parcel was reluctant to close the sale. And that then that parcel was subsequently sold to a new owner who is willing to close the sale and did sign a contract and a survey was prepared in anticipation of closing the sale to uh, the applicant to acquire that, that necessary piece of land next door. Uh, but then the delay was with the bank for who held the mortgage on the abutters property who was not willing to grant the necessary partial release of mortgage to enable the sale to be closed, uh, which in turn made it impossible for the abutter to convey clear title to the applicant. And now there has either been a change in the lender or otherwise enough time has gone by so that it is now anticipated that the current mortgage holder on the abutter's land is willing and able to provide the necessary partial release of mortgage so the abutter can convey clear title to the applicant. And um, and at that point, you'd be able to, you'd be back in the position that you, the applicant wanted to be in way back when we granted the special permit because he'll have the land needed to satisfy the conditions of the original special permit that we granted. Is that an accurate summary? <laughs> And I know you're pinch hitting here, Attorney Lipton. I'm sensitive to that. I appreciate it. That's very accurate, Attorney Bloomberg. And so to um, maybe fill in the gaps a little bit. So you, your board did issue a special permit. That special permit lapsed because of the failure. I use that word failure without pointing any blame to acquire the strip of land. Um, there was a change of ownership of the strip of land. Negotiations began with the new owner uh, who agreed in concept to sell the property, but he recognized that he had a mortgage on the property and his conveyance, as we know, the mortgage holder has to agree to release a strip being sold. And that mortgage holder, which is movement mortgage, had a rule that said, we won't even consider a partial release of the mortgage, which is what it's called, until 12 months have gone by of ownership. And so uh, 12 months have gone by now. They have agreed to the partial release, and we did just sign a <clears throat> purchase and sale agreement. The new owner, uh, Mr. John Nikolai, did not want to sign the PNS until he knew that he could perform vis-a-vis -vis the, the partial release. So uh, this was freshly signed about a month ago, and uh, and we have it. And Attorney McLaughlin, whose case it is, and he's on vacation this week, uh, has now filed a new special permit um, that it <clears throat> includes the purchase and sale agreement. And so he is looking to put Mr. Watling back into the same position he was in 2021, namely with a grant of a special permit. Uh, but that matter hasn't been scheduled yet. Uh, it's not on the board's uh, agenda for tonight, certainly. And there's also a wetlands component. So our purchase and sale agreement says uh, the closing should occur on or before October 31st. It is conditioned upon the grant of a new special permit and the wetlands uh, relief that is needed. In a nutshell, therefore, we're asking this board not to vote on the merits of the teardown order tonight and give us a postponement. John shows a generous date of December 21st, uh, so that by the time the winter solstice rolls around, uh, everything we are projecting will have occurred and there'd be no need for a teardown order because we'd have a new special permit in hand. Okay. Okay. Um, are, are there any, uh, again, we're not, we're not hearing anything on the merits here. Go ahead. Uh, Carolyn? Um, so the board meets once in December. It would be December 14th if you wanted to continue that to December 14th. That, that makes would sense. Be the date. That would be perfect. Okay, thanks. And and again, uh, we're not here to, dis this is not a, a hearing on the merits. Uh, the only decision, as I understand it, for the board to make right now is on the request to continue given all of the above 
until I guess it would be December 14th. So do any board members have any other, any questions about that? Nope, you can't, you covered it perfectly. Okay, uh, Maureen, you're muted, I think. Not now, thank you. Okay. I yep. have a procedural question. Um, what happens with that, between now and then, what happens with that still standing demolition order? Are we continuing? It, it remains. Okay. It re yeah, it stays the enforcement effectively. And and also, I think the applicant and the request for the continuance acknowledge that pending a resolution here, um, the applicant understands that no work can proceed, and 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 that and that addition that was built cannot be used or or lived in, if I remember correctly. So right. So I guess my question is, uh, thank you for that. Is are we continuing the hearing for us the in response to the demolition order request and for the special permit application? Are they one no, in just, the same? Just the appeal, the hearing on the appeal of the of the order relating uh, of the of the building inspector's order of requiring demolition. The special permit. As I understand it, will be a procedurally a separate application, which okay. we'll receive shortly, presumably, um, which I guess would make, I think the whole point here is if the new special permit is granted and if the buyer, uh, the applicant gets, uh, I assume, an order of suitable order of conditions from the Conservation Commission, the applicant then can then close the purchase of the land in compliance with what the applicant hopes will be the new special permit that we would issue but but we're not really ruling on that that's not before us yet David. okay okay just wanted that i needed that clarification thank you uh nathan did you have something just for reference yes the applicant has filed a new special permit on august 17th so okay. it's on the system already okay so we'll be hearing that in one of the upcoming meetings um if there's nothing else from the well, I guess there's nothing to ask the 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 audience about because we're not op uh, the uh, any other members present because this is not a a hearing, uh, even though it looks like one, uh, in the sense that we are not uh, discussing the merits of the case. There there may be another opportunity to do that, but the only issue right now is uh, the board's. Uh, decision on the request to continue the hearing on the appeal of the building inspector's demolition order until December 14th. Um, so so I, I can make a motion on that please, if we please. don't need to do a motion first on closing the hearing, which it sounds like we don't need to do since there's no hearing. So right. we I'm, haven't actually opened a hearing. Right. I don't okay, think. so then I, I'll move to uh, approve the postponement of this matter until December 14th. Okay. I'll second. Yeah. Second. And, and just for discussion, again, I want to emphasize for any members of the public here that there will be other here. There will be a hearing one way or the other, either on the special permit and or on the appeal down the road. Um, uh, it, that's that just that hearing is not happening today. Um, so with that, I guess we would need a roll call vote on the motion to approve the applicant's request for a continuance until the December 14th meeting. And I assume that would be at 5.30 p.m. because I'm sure we have nothing else on right now at that time. Yeah. Nothing not that far ahead. We don't know. Right. So, um, so, but we should say at 5.30 p.m. on uh, December 14th. Uh, roll call, please. Yes. Uh, David? Uh, uh, yes, in favor. Uh, Elizabeth? Yes. Maureen? Yes. Okay, that's you. Thank you. Um, and we will watch for upcoming submissions. Um, uh, I think the only other issues for the board tonight have to do with um, approving some minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, I think they're the July 27. Is that right? That's, right. that's great. July 7, the last yeah. one we had. And I, I, I um, move that we approve those minutes. Okay, uh, second. Yes. Okay, and roll. Okay. I think we need a roll call for that. Yes. Seven minutes. So I'm just taking some notes. All right by roll call. Uh, David. Uh, yes. I in favor. Elizabeth. Yes. And Maureen. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, so that's uh, unanimous. And um, I, I, other, the only other thing would be a, a motion to adjourn unless there was anything anyone else wanted to say right just now. Just wanted to check next meeting, Nathan. Yeah. When, are yeah. we, when, is, when is it looking like we're gonna be having something in front of us? So if we can have quorum, um, so uh, for the 14th, September 14th, uh, we, can, we can do the, um, the new special permit for the same property the this current property the and and for the 28th of september uh, just like couple just today and yesterday two new applications for finding uh finding came in um some small expansions on their property that triggered the finding requirement so we got those three hearing items the on september 14th the zba special permit for the same property at 129 riverbank road and on um September 28th, uh, two different hearing applications for a finding. Those, I, those look clear for on my schedule. Are other people able to say or? I, I yes. know that I am not available on the 28th. Um, I would be available on the 14th. Okay, so we'll check with um, Sherry. Uh, yeah, Sherry and... Uh, Sarah for the 28th, maybe Nathan, you or I could send an email too, but maybe you could send an email. Yeah. Sorry. In fact, we should email them anyway and let them know those two yeah. dates right. tonight. So I'll send a group email to let everybody know and try to get quorum. Um, about the 14th, um, people who are present here right now, the three members, do you think you will be all able to be at the 14th hearing? Uh, I, I am available. Yeah. And uh, how about you, Elizabeth? I know you say you were not available at 28. Yeah, I'm fine on the 14th. Okay. Oh, fine. But then, and yeah, so I will, I'll send out an email about, about these dates to everybody after the, after the hearing. Great. Thank you. Hey, um, motion to adjourn. Hey, okay. I'll second. move to adjourn. Okay. okay. <laughs> ah, sorry. That's all right. Second. All right. And roll call, please. Okay. So Maureen first at this time. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Um, uh, by roll call, uh, David? Yes, in favor. Elizabeth? Yes. And Maureen? Yes. Good. That's unanimous.